Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I was going to do this video yesterday because I got this fan yesterday, but I was a bit busy yesterday, so I'm doing the video today instead. Obviously, I got this fan for Christmas, and you guys knew I was getting it because I made a video, and you know that I was getting this fan, so yeah, I've got it now. And here it is, in a second. Out. Yep, it's the Barnier 2 Cool 12 inch oscillating dust fan. The 12 inch variant of the pedestal one I've got. I don't really see too many of these ones actually, these desk variants. I have seen it before, but under the Holmes brand. I don't see too many of them under the Barnier brand. So yeah, of course this is just the first video, so I won't show you design like the, the side and back and information, because it's just the first video of this fan, I'll do that in the part two. So yeah, I'll just plug it in for you now, to show you it went in. The dial is at the back, so here is Lotto. And it's quite powerful. <clears throat> it's more powerful than it was yesterday because yesterday it was quite dirty. And the bearings needed oil. So I lubricated it and cleaned it. Yeah, I cleaned the fan and I lubricated the bearings and now it's much more powerful. It is actually quite powerful, this fan. For saying it's a dust fan, it is quite powerful. It sounds just like my other binary 12 inch dust fan, it sounds very similar. It's probably because it's got that same five wing blurted. It does sound quite similar to the other one that I have. Okay, let's do medium now. Again, it's really it's really powerful for a dust fan. It's not super loud either. The pedestal variant's much louder. I think the noise it's making is quite good for the amount of air it's moving. It's a really rare fan. This fine air version. I think the homeless ones are more common than the Binaire ones. The Binaires are quite hard to find these days in the desk form. <coughs> Just hoping it's got enough room to oscillate. Okay, I'm going to do high now. It's really powerful. It really moves a lot of it, huh? And by the way, this is my first video on my new iPad, by the way, because I got a new iPad for Christmas. And I think the camera's loads better on this new one. This is a really good photo. I'm just gonna move it over a little bit of my hand, just so I can make sure it's got room to oscillate. I'm gonna bring it forward as well. <coughs> so I'll just yeah, I'm just sorting it out to make sure it's got enough room to oscillate because I'm putting it on oscillation now. So here's low of oscillation. There we go. It oscillates fine as well. Awesome fan. Very happy to have this in my collection. Because the pedestal variant was my childhood one. 
I'm happy to have that one and the desk one as well. Which is really awesome. So now I'm going to do medium with oscillation on. It's the same as the pedestal one. It goes from high. It goes from zero to high, then medium, then low. <coughs> yeah, just like the pedestal one. the hot eye with oscillation so here we go for saying it's a double blade fan as well it's not even that loud for the amount of air it's moving it's moving quite a bit of air <clears throat> it ain't anywhere it ain't anywhere near as loud as the um pedestal one <clears throat> Now I'm gonna do the off and the spin down. It's got a much better spin down now I've oiled it than it had before I oiled it by the way. So yeah, here we go. Oh. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now, guys. And it out.